Smart home technology can turn your tablet or phone into a remote control and monitor for practically everything in the house. Opening the shades, turning on lights, streaming music, smart thermostats, or your home security system. Jim Carroll's company, Savant Systems, specializes in home automation. As you can imagine, my own home is a pretty smart home. His home can alert him to unusual events, like a flooded basement or an unexpected person coming to the door. When my teenage girls come home from school, if it's outside of the parameters that I would normally expect them to come home, meaning it's before 3 o'clock, Monday through Friday, from September to May, I'll get a text saying, Shannon's home from school. I could look at my cameras and see if she came home alone, to understand why are you home at 1 o'clock on a school day. You leave the house in good shape? Yeah. yeah, of course. Even the kitchen sink can be connected to the internet and controlled with a tap on your screen anytime, anywhere. You can combine multiple systems into modes like romantic dinner to set a mood or on vacation to fool burglars when you're away. This is going to be a very explosive market and I don't think we've even begun to scratch the surface on what that means. Gary Davis of McAfee understands how convenient integrated intelligence systems can be, providing security features like turning on lights when you step in the room. But, he says, each connected device might contain 20 or more potential security gaps that a sophisticated hacker could exploit. Hacking into a Wi-Fi is one of the simplest hacks you can do. If I had to choose a, a single system that I think would be the most at risk, would probably be the home monitoring system. Both your baby monitors as well as home monitors, the routers, how they protect the devices is going to be a point of risk. So how can you automate your home safely? You need up-to-date encryption and malware protection on all your devices. And don't get lazy with your password. Make it tough and change it often. Another vulnerability? Most smartphone owners don't even use a passcode to protect their phones. So if they lose it or misplace it, somebody picks it up, and they basically have unfettered access to that person's connected home. In the future, secure ID technology combining biometrics, your voice, your face, your fingerprints, proximity detectors that know whether your watch, phone, and home devices are together, and other innovations could help make sure that the digital keys to your castle don't fall into the wrong hands. Nick Dietz, CBS News.